Well, hello, isn't this exciting? Let's do a round of applause for this partnership. For those of you who don't know, uh, my name is Diana Parenti and I'm the Executive Director of the District of Columbia Interscholastic Athletic Association. Um, the District of Columbia Public Schools and the DCIAA are proud to welcome everybody here today at this amazing announcement as we celebrate the, our partnership with the historic football club, FC Barcelona. <laughs> this partnership will result in countless opportunities for the students of DCPS, many of whom you, who you see in this room currently right now. Let's give a round of applause for our students. Any educator in the room would confirm that when a district, a school, or a teacher prioritize social and emotional learning and athletics, you will find success. It has been great to work with a partner who values that exact statement and then cultivated a partnership and a program that uh, does just that in Football Net. Football Net is currently implemented in 50 countries around the world, and we're happy as the United States to accept it as its 51st. Um, Oh, sorry. Football Net is currently, um, so, sorry. <laughs> um, I shouldn't have written my speech down. <laughs> um, so, with that being said, next summer, Football Net launches in our DCI AA Summer Skills Program. Our students will not only prosper on the soccer field, but also off the soccer field. Before we move on, there are a lot of people here that I would like to thank. First, I obviously would like to thank our FC Barcelona for being here today and providing our kids with this amazing opportunity. I would like to thank our mayor, Muriel Browser, and Chancellor Anton Wilson for prioritizing athletics. I would also like to thank our DCPS central office team, who with countless emails, conversations, figuring out the logistics of this event, um, creating our MOU and creating up all the beautiful things that you see here today, um, this opportunity would not have been possible either. And lastly, most importantly, I would like to thank my DCI AA staff, staff, whose commitment to excellence and drive to ensure our students receive the best inspire me every single day. Without further ado, I would like to announce our mayor, Muriel Bowser, to take us through the rest of the program. Thank you. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to Roosevelt Senior High School, the home of the Rough Riders. It is good to be here, and I, too, want to acknowledge Chancellor Antoine Wilson, uh, who in a few short months, he told me when I appointed him on February the 1st, when his first day at work, that he would go to every D.C. public school before the end of the year. How do we do, Chancellor? All done. So give Chancellor Wilson a big round of applause. I also want to acknowledge our wonderful principal, Akila James. Stand up, principal, so everybody can get to meet you. <laughs> principal James uh, has received your second year at Roosevelt, correct? And also the McFarland Middle School that is now under uh, construction. Yes, and we're going to welcome students back to the new McFarland just as soon uh, as we are complete. But this campus alone shows a fantastic commitment uh, to public education in Washington, D.C. And the reason we do all of this is for our fantastic students. And I understand that we have students, soccer players from all over DCPS with us. So give them a big round of applause. So today we're going to announce a fantastic partnership with D.C. Public Schools and Football Club Barcelona. And it's not bad when you can come to work with these fine gentlemen behind you. So let's hear for Team Barcelona. 
And I, I want to thank you, Jordi Cardenaire from FC Barcelona, for, for being with us today. Uh, and I will say that Jordi said to me, this is a fantastic school you have here, Mayor. Uh, and it demonstrates, it really shows uh, your commitment uh, to public education in, the, in your city. So I want to give them a special, uh, a special shout out for joining us here in Washington, D.C. Uh, and it is really a pleasure for us to have one of the most widely followed soccer teams in the entire world right here in Washington, D.C. We recognize the importance of sport uh, in the development of children, and we recognize having a robust set of sports offerings and facilities and coaches uh, teaches our young people uh, fitness and discipline and teamwork. Uh, and we know that all of those skills will help them live uh, rich and successful lives. Some of them will go on to be professional soccer players, football for, for Barcelona. Uh, others will be doctors, lawyers, police officers, and they'll find their own niche. But the lessons they learn in sport right here at DCPS are valuable principles that will carry them through their lives. My administration has made uh, investments in this partnership. Earlier this year, I announced a $6.2 million uh, investment in our middle and high school school grades. And these investments will help us continue to engage more students in extracurricular activities, develop new athletic programs um, from wrestling to lacrosse to archery and rugby, and help us to create computer coding clubs in every middle school in Washington, D.C. So we know that this will help our students stay engaged and stay involved and make Make sure that they are attending school every single day. Our new partnership with FC Barcelona will help us do exactly that. Uh, we know that our students learn critical skills uh, ranging from communication to conflict resolution uh, as well as showing off and honing their soccer skills. This program, we're also very happy to say, uh, will have a synergy with our new program for girls in DCPS called RAIN. They'll travel to Barcelona next year to receive additional training, play against other girls in Barcelona, and tour the FC Barcelona soccer stadium. I may have to sign up for this. It's good. This partnership is yet another way to transform our school experiences. I was full grown and in, co in college before I ever got to travel to Spain. Uh, and now our students will be able to do it in middle school. I'm so proud of these opportunities and cannot wait uh, to see how they grow. And so I now would like to join in, uh, in all of you in welcoming our fantastic Chancellor of Schools, Antoine Wilson. Good morning. Extremely excited to be back here at uh, Roosevelt High School and also Roosevelt Stay. Um, just want to say welcome to everyone and uh, thank you, Roosevelt High School, for hosting. Principal James, thank you. It's so awesome to be back here at your amazing school. Appreciate you for your leadership, all of your fine faculty and staff and partners and amazing students. Also, I'm very proud to say that uh, DC, the, the D.C. Public Schools, um, we are beginning a partnership, as was mentioned, with um, FC Barcelona. And uh, this is an amazing organization with a strong commitment to supporting youth around the world. I'm extremely excited because we are uh, establishing this partnership um, that focused on the world's number one sport. Think about the most popular sport in the world and to have such a partnership here in DCPS speaks to the ambition that we have for our students, that we want them to be exposed to the best that the world has to offer. So thank you to Diana Parente and the DCI AA uh, team, I appreciate you and your leadership. You, uh, you uh, shared this with me uh, maybe just a month and a half, two months ago, and to be able to bring this to fruition so quickly, just appreciate you. I want to appreciate the mayor 
Um, the mayor has a very strong investment in our schools. She wants you to be successful, but she also understands that um, the most direct path isn't always the best path, which means that we can't only focus on the academic piece. That is extremely important. That's why we're here. We want to make sure that you learn and have the skills academically. She understands that in order to get that, that we need to support you as whole people, which means that we need to support our athletes. We need to ensure that you get engaged in as many activities as possible, and she's been a tremendous supporter um, in our efforts to do that. So thank you, Mayor, and to all of our uh, teams uh, and uh, educators throughout our district to uh, help us do what we do. FC Barcelona's mission is nicely aligned to our work here in D.C. P.S. Like us, they believe in character development. They know that through the practice and determination that, that comes with competitive sports, students are more likely to work harder, and they're more likely to reach their, their goals in school and life, um, as well as uh, work. We are uh, excited, as am I, about FC Barcelona's focus on infusing social-emotional learning with athletics. Um, I strongly believe that supporting students' social-emotional development needs to be a part of, uh, should be a part of everything we do. So students, what, quite simply, what that is just saying is we should help you understand as much about yourself as possible, as much about um, how you uh, uh, interacting with other people uh, provides valuable learning opportunities for you. Put you in a position to where you make really great decisions, taking advantage of all the assets available to you. So much of what sports teaches us is how to manage conflict, teaches us how to get along with others, teaches us cooperation. It also teaches us how to be competitive and how to channel that uh, competitive spirit towards a common goal. So sports plays in a tremendous role in preparing us for things that we want to do outside of sports, and so um, I get excited about that. Uh, the emphasis on uh, teamwork and sportsmanship and self-confidence really makes the program so special, and it's important to me. I will say that in DCPS, we want every one of our middle school students, we want all of our secondary students exposed to extracurricular and co-curricular activities. I think it's extremely important that you do do more than just uh, the academic pieces. So as the mayor mentioned, we are adding sports like wrestling and lacrosse, clubs like coding. We're ensuring that all of our middle schools teach algebra. Um, we want to make sure that students have access to these opportunities. Me personally, I'm only standing here in front of you because I had an opportunity to participate as an athlete as I went through school. I can assure you my mother was talking about math and science and all of those things, and I was listening. But what, I, what really got me excited is knowing that I had a basketball game or a, uh, or a football game or a track uh, um, uh, contests that uh, really helped me focus and I met friends and all of that and so we want to encourage all of that for you. Also as a coach, um, coaching students in, in high school, I know that many of my students were able to go on to college and do amazing things because we were able to provide those opportunities. In DCPS we want that to be the standard experience. We want students to expect that they'll be successful because we invest in them. So DCPS currently has girls and boys soccer teams in more than 10 high schools and 14 middle schools. I think that speaks to the commitment that we have. The football net program will expose even more of our students to soccer. Um, and as a result of this partnership, I'm confident that many more of our students will find success in the field. Students, we want you to um, thrive both in the classroom and outside and on the, uh, the field of competition. These joyful and engaging and challenging learning experiences ensure that every student within our district can reach their full potential, which is our goal. And we are thrilled to have FC Barcelona as a key partner in our work. And so thank you for believing in us here in DCPS, and thank you for more importantly investing in our children. And with that, I'd like to go ahead and uh, ask Jordy Corden, uh, Vice President of FC Barcelona, to come on up, and um, I'd like to turn it over to, or turn it over to you. If we can please give a hand, Jordy. Good morning. Buenos dias, bon dia. First of all, Major, Chalon. Uh, thank you. Thank you, really thank you. We are really impressed. Uh, somebody told me this morning we will go to a public school. Unfortunately, in our country, in Spain, public schools are not like yours. So, congratulations. And let me say that uh, we feel so comfortable. We feel so well. When we have the responsibility uh, to pick ma make uh, partnerships uh, all around the world, 
We want to be sure that uh, our partners believe in the project, that uh, they know what uh, we are adding to the spectacle of, the, of football, of soccer. And now we feel sure that uh, we are with the right partners. So thank you again. Let me, let me I, I will not talk about football. You can see here one of the best players in the world. Sure, Messi, Leo, it's the best one. This is for sure. This is not my opinion. This is not my opinion. We, this is, this is sure, I know you know, I know you know Leo Messi, and uh, today he will be here, he will be of course in Washington playing, you, you, you will see him, you can watch TV, you can go to the stadium, this is incredible. But those players are people, and today we talk, we don't talk just about football, we talk about sports, but we talk about culture. We are in a school, and we talk about education. When I was a kid like you, Football was outsider, was not integrated in what uh, we call education. Today, sports, talking about teams, talking about objectives, talking about uh, team uh, playing, uh, it's culture. And this is uh, from our foundation, uh, how we try to integrate people all around the world uh, by the sport, by football, by our uh, football net methodology because we understand that uh, young people young people are not responsible of uh, consequences and how adults uh, we change a little bit the world and we are convinced that we have to uh, teach and to learn more about values look, those people here they play football, but they show five main values. And I would like just to explain to all of you, the younger ones, remember those five values that we want to explain. First one is humility. We talk about the best play in the world, but humility. The second one, it's effort. Be careful to reach their positions. The third one, it's ambition in the right sense, in the good sense. Need it to get it. Respect. We cannot forget respect in our world as well, playing football, playing soccer. And last but not least, this is teamwork. And with teamwork, you can be successful in your football and in your life. So thank you very much to attend. Thank you for your hospitality, Major, and insist. We are really impressed, and I am convinced that uh, this partnership will be a long trip together. Thank you very much. Chancellor Wilson and Jordi, let me invite you to sit at the table to sign the MOU. Can I start that for me? Okay. Yeah. Please, uh, first, uh, I would like that uh, you keep this. Thank you. Uh, this is your club, and we wish that as well Barcelona could be one day your city. Yes, we'll see. And we've been joined by our, some lady football players. Woo! All right. Give a good night. Just stay down. Stay there. He know better too. Carla, please raise your hand. All right, everybody look at Carla.
are happy, Jordi Cardinaire, Chancellor Wilson, and myself, uh, to answer any of your questions. And I'm also available for questions not on the topic. Yes, Mark. Logistics of how many students will actually go, how do they qualify, how is this paid for? Absolutely. So I'm going to have the Chancellor and, and uh, Director, uh, Athletics Director Parenti available for that question. Chancellor. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn it over to uh, Diana. She'll take it. Um, so the way the triple work is we'll go next spring break over March, um, and we just want to make sure that we can capture every single girl um, in our city. So the way that it will work, there will be a tryout. All high schools will get representation. We're looking to aim to take about two girls per high school, um, and it will be open to juniors and seniors, and based on the tryout, we'll take the two uh, you know, best players of, from each school. Next player role in deciding who gets to go? Uh, yes, we have DCIAA eligibility standards and they have to be on standard and eligible to play. Charter schools participate or is it just DCPS? It's just DCPS. And so you said two from each high school. Can you tell me how many high schools? So we uh, well, we have, uh, we, have 10, we have 10 programs, 20 high schools total. Yeah, 20 high schools. So about 40, 40 girls. Well, um, give or take, yeah, we have to figure out the numbers from there. How is this funded? Um, we got funding through our DCIAA budget, and also we got lovely partners over there in Rain who were ever uh, able to give us funding for it as well. I just want to mention on the funding pieces that the mayor uh, spoke about additional investments, $6.2 million, $6 million. That went into supporting additional programs for athletics, additional programs for coding, middle school, and then also our investment in uh, Girls of Color, our RAIN initiative. And so all of those dollars are being used to, in, in, in addition to uh, investments from uh, outside sources to help us with this. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Um, can I ask it in Spanish? Yes. Lo, lo puede? Okay. Eh, señor Cardenal, quería preguntarle por qué es la importancia de que esta fundación se expanda aquí en Washington DC. En español? Sí, claro. Eh, es eh, nosotros el interés que tenemos eh, en, en el Estado americano eh, se inicia eh, básicamente en tres ciudades, en New York, en um, Washington, D.C. y posteriormente será en Miami. Consideramos eh, que reúne pues, los ingredientes eh, necesarios, la sensibilidad eh, social, no solamente el, el valor que se le da al deporte, sino el valor que se le da eh, también pues, eh, a, a la herramienta, a lo que realmente nosotros, a través del deporte, para los niños y niñas eh, transmitimos, que son los valores. ¿no? Por lo tanto, es para nosotros, tanto Washington eh, como Nueva York y posteriormente Miami, son ciudades realmente estratégicas en, eh, en estos programas. Gracias. ¿Cuál fue la pregunta en inglés? ¿Puedo hacerlo en inglés? Sí, en inglés. ¿Puedo hacerlo en inglés? Sí, claro. Por supuesto, por supuesto. So, uh, why uh, Washington, why uh, New York, and then afterwards, why Miami? Uh, because we think that uh, those uh, cities, uh, the territory is sensitive, uh, not just to the game of football, uh, as well to what we bring uh, with our mythology. At the end of the we bring values. As uh, we talk, uh, it's not just the sport by itself. It's the value that we add to better understand and to better uh, add, uh, so uh, help the development of uh, children uh, in those uh, cities. We think that we can add uh, as well something else in what we call sport. Thank you. So you'll be doing similar partnerships like this in, in those others in, in New York and Miami as well? Uh, we'll, we'll start. We'll start. Uh, we did it. We did it uh, in, uh, in New York. Uh, we'll do it uh, in Washington with our campus. And in future, it's uh, planned to go to, to Miami as well. Thank you. Yes, please, your name. Uh, my name is Mark Brau. I'm from Barca TV, official media of FC Barcelona. I want to ask you, as you said in the explanation, but uh, for the people in Barcelona, how can you explain what does it mean, this kind of agreement for the District of Columbia, this kind of, of uh, action with FC Barcelona? 
Well, it, it means quite a lot to us. First of all, it sends a big signal to these children who are gathered that school is important, um, that what they're learning in sports is also important, and that they are connected to the rest of the world. Uh, we're here in Washington, D.C., but here we have a partnership uh, with the, the, the world's team for the world sport, and they will have an opportunity through hard work and their participation to go and visit. So for us, it it is uh, just a, a addition, a wonderful addition uh, to our offerings for, for our kids that connects them to the world, and we're very grateful for it. Yes. Um, you've talked about the commitment to athletics, and I know recently you signed the legislation, the D.C. Athletic Commission, to help kind of oversee athletics. Um, just talk about the way your administration has really kind of tackled sports. Um, a year ago, the landscape looked a lot different, and now you guys seem to really be moving forward. Well, thank you. We'll take that. And we think it looks different in, in a lot of ways, in a, a lot of ways that are to the good. And we do see sports, and you know that the, ch you know the chancellor's background, and you heard him uh, speak, and he can add to this, uh, that we, of course, focus on academics, but we want to invest in the, the full development of a child. Uh, and sports is a huge part of that. Uh, we also know that it's more than just in our schools. We have that philosophy about our city and how we develop our city. Next year, this time, uh, we will open our own soccer stadium uh, and we will invite FC Barcelona to play right here in Washington, D.C. And so we will have a home stadium uh, for our D.C. United and you're going to see, you're going to love it. You're absolutely going to love it. Uh, and that we, we have that same commitment to uh, the Washington Mystics, and they will have a state-of-the-art uh, facility and practice facility uh, right here in Washington, D.C. Last night, I was with the Washington Castles that celebrated 10 years of world-class tennis, where we saw Venus Williams playing uh, right to a home, to a home crowd. Uh, so we are a sports capital. People don't like to give us credit for it, but we are. Uh, and we're going to bring some championships home uh, as well. But for the young people who are playing sport, uh, we have invested in fantastic facilities all over our, our public schools, and we think that's uh, also important. Uh, but the chancellor will tell you we can do better. Diana will tell you, we can do more. We can have more offerings at more schools. Not every kid's going to play soccer. So we want them to have an opportunity um, with, uh, with great sports, too. We want to attract the best coaches. We need adults who care about children and sport also to come and work with us at DCPS. So that's important. And the organization and how uh, we set up the structure, the chancellor, uh, he has an, an eye on making sure we do that in the most efficient ways. What's the selection process been like for those commissioners? I've seen a list of nine for, our, for the athletic commission. Um, I haven't started that yet. Ask the question, uh, yes. A couple of off topics. Yes, please. Just quickly, uh, this evening you'll be at Nats Park for another sports announcement. Can you just tell us what this means for the District of Columbia hosting the All-Star Game next year? It's huge. So we think, uh, for those who don't know, we were selected, I guess it's been a little over a year ago, maybe two years ago, uh, to host the All-Star Game for the, the Major League Baseball. Uh, and we will do it. Uh, it's held in July. I actually sent a team down to Florida because that's where this year's was held so we could see the lay of the land um, and prepare for next year. What it is, Mark, is it's just a, another signal that this is a major league sports town. We have great fans, the best fans, uh, and when people come to Washington from all over the world to see these events, they will also be able to go to great restaurants we, and, and great museums, and our hospitality workers are ready to receive them and give them a good time. Uh, we're a safe city, a growing city.
city and a city that really supports sports. So we have some ideas actually around how, how we can even make that a bigger event and make sure it connects. The last thing we want for any of these sporting events is for people to go into the stadium and then go home. We want them to have a real experience uh, in Washington. So whether it's with uh, FC Barcelona when they come to play with us or Major League Baseball, we want to make sure they have a good D.C. experience. Can I just ask about what I guess is the unexpected resignation of your director of Department of Transportation? Can mm -hmm. you tell us about how, how quickly you'll be able to replace him both at the Department of Transportation and his position on the Metro Board? Oh, he serves as an alternate on the Metro Board. And um, certainly when you have a great team like I do, people try to steal your players. You must know about that. <laughs> People try to steal your players when you have the best players, and so we expect that. We have a high profile on government that's getting things done, and people are looking at my directors all the time. Don't get any ideas, anybody. Uh, and so we, Leif has done a fantastic job for us, uh, and I really credit his leadership and tenacity with ma making sure he right-sized and got the streetcar running, and a lot of other things that are you know less high profile, but very important uh, to our life in the district. So we certainly wish him well. Uh, we get a lot of interest, as you might know, uh, in the DDOT position. I did the first time, uh, and I expect I have a great group of people to choose from. Thank you, Thank you everybody.